What's going on, everyone? This is Michael Stewart Isaacs. And this is Shemek Ebony. And this is your next edition of Sunday, Sunday Stacks. Stacks. Yes, Sunday Stacks. Back once again, week for week. We tell you, we ain't going nowhere, people. We are here. We are always energized. And we want to prove to you that week for week, your life should be stacking up. Yes. And the easiest way is to come here and join us every week on Sunday on the Alive Podcast Network. Yes, Sunday Stacks and Alive Podcast Network have joined forces. We are in our season two and we're also on youtube as well but definitely check us out here on the live podcast network it's a phenomenal benefits a great network you know we got great storytellers on this yes. network so we're just so grateful to be a part of it and again i am happy michael stewart isaacs to be here you know sometimes you got to be grateful for how life gives you another day so sundays are those days we get to celebrate with you all out there the listeners we thank you for your support and as we always start each episode shemekka How's it stacking for you this week? Oh, it is stacking so nice. Um, I am grateful to be with you today talking about how this last week has gone. I feel like I have traveled the globe virtually in the work <laughs> this week. Um, but shout out to the Rise to Health Coalition Cohort 1 that completed um, this portion, um, especially the coaching portion, around equity initiatives, uh, centering health equity in their organizations and their uh, jobs that they're working for. Mm-hmm. I am so excited to know that there's actually practicing uh, practitioners of equity um, in the areas of research, pharma, and biotechnology. So kudos and shout outs to them. Um, Also, I want to lift up that uh, we have our next leadership empowerment group coming up. So shout out to those that are rocking with me on the forum platform. We meet every other um, first and third Mondays. There's still time for you to sign up. It's a monthly commitment and we're rocking it out to the end of this year holding each other accountable to grow and build together and empower one another. Um, I share my expertise in there around leadership, and we also uh, look forward to hearing how you come planning to stack your business and stack your life moving forward. So definitely check that out. Um, And one other thing I wanted to pop in this week is a shout out to the uh, wonderful partners that Monica, we met in Sierra Leone, the Community Girls Advocacy Network. Uh, She has been doing some incredible things since we left there um, in December. I'm so grateful to be in partnership with her. Yay. She has batch two coming on. Like I think a couple of months after we um, did our I Am Brilliant and Healthy uh, convening um, that she brought youth to the first day and she brought more youth the second day. And what in less than six months, she uh, launched her book. She launched a vocational vacation program. And she also launched the Community Girls Advocacy Network to give mentorship opportunities, learning and leadership and entrepreneurship to those uh, residents and citizens of Sierra Leone in Bo, Aberdeen, and Freetown. That is amazing. That is amazing. And as I always have to say to you, Shemek, I thank you. You know, my mother is from Sierra Leone. We went on a family, you know, trip traveling and we made it a part of our work because we were connected to a Mandela Fellows member. Um, his Shout out to Alex and his yes. family, his wife. And just then we were able to connect and we met this amazing group of, you know, advocates in their own right. And it was just amazing just to be able to share the message of what we do with I Am Brilliant. For those who know, the Sunday Stacks is brought to you by our production company, I Am Brilliant. We're doing amazing work in community just to create empowerment, to show people that they are the leaders they're looking for. So as Shemeka was explaining, to see us be have the opportunity, I should say, to take it to Sierra Leone, to Freetown, yes. and to see us light up all these citizens. And now, yeah, is powerful. oh my goodness, and now they themselves are now creating more opportunities to illuminate their community and grow. So just shout out to you, Shemeka. Thank you for, you know, the follow up and the consistency you've done to work with this organization. Uh, Shout out to Monica and all her work and her team. It's just amazing to see their growth in such a short period of time. Yes, you can find, definitely check out my profile on Gumroad, Shemeka.gumroad.com and check her book out. The proceeds from her book sales uh, go to her directly 
likely so that she can continue to move mountains. <laughs> well, maybe not literally in Sierra Leone. But, and for all your projects, uh, everyone can go to Shemeca ebony.com yeah. to find out all these links so you can get to all of Shemeca's, uh all the work she's doing in the community with the, her different uh, organizations uh, this organization you can find all that at ShemekaEbony.com and that's amazing that you've just Absolutely. been able to just do so much in just a week this is the point <laughs> we're saying y'all this is what we do week for week across the globe we've been globe trotting being able to really continue to empower people and that's the Be blessing the of the world. the change world. we want to see like listen we listen if you know me then you know this is so true I learned this great awesome message from my mother i can show you better than i can tell you and i've committed my life to doing just that showing what's possible what's in our hands and what we can do to be the change that we want to see that's amazing that's amazing well definitely we're proud to just seeing the work that you have going on so you know how was your week this week how's it stacking up for you oh man well i appreciate that i think you know one, I'm always grateful. It's been a phenomenal week, just to transition from the month of July to August. So I'm a simple, you went know, by went by fast. <laughs> but I'm, I'm always grateful for those opportunities to continue growing. Um, you know, if anyone knows me out there, you know, I got a different mindset of the game plan, entrepreneurs. So I have a system. We are in that quarter where you really got to kind of lock it in and really know what you're building. So third quarter is that quarter, and so it's just amazing to see how things are coming together. And so this week has been a week of early mornings for me y'all and late evenings i mean early morning and late evenings y'all like i've been really pushing and you know really just being you know showing up for people i think that's been something the difference and i'm not gonna lie a lot of it's been virtual which has allowed for me to be in so many great spaces all around the globe all around the country in the last few days and like i said evenings y'all late evenings early mornings you know really and still doing all the other stuff in between during the day to make things keep moving has been the kind of week I've had. I woke up early this week um, doing a phenomenal event. Like Shemekha, she's doing work in the continent um, of Africa, of course, to be clear. But um, we were able to do a phenomenal event virtually with a team I work with uh, on cybersecurity out in the continent. So it was us waking up very early to work with leaders that are, of course, in another time zone, but they were learning about cybersecurities and some of the latest protocols. And so shout out to that team um, with this launch, Africa um, Cyber Alliance, they were doing some great things, just really educating people who are working on IT, uh, you know, uh, just career opportunities in the continent. And that's really something really big, y'all. So say you heard it here first on Sunday Stacks that mm -hmm. the continent Africa is going to really do some amazing things in the IT field in the next few years to come. So keep your eyes open for that and definitely participate awesome. if you can. On another note, I was able to do something called a, a evening event, uh, which was another thing dealing with tech world um this one was uh this was a black text for harris yes the black tech community was organizing and just kind of having a rally call for um some of the work for uh vice president harris and her uh bid to be the madam president uh that this country's been waiting for so definitely that was a great call and just a great experience and then again crisscrossing against the country again me and shemeca had some <laughs> local things we were doing uh virtually again and being involved in our community with our families, um, I, you know, just really growing the opportunity to talk about f parenting and the education system and some of the things that are being changed and pushed on us, as well as some of the things we can start to advocate for to really show up for our children. So it was just an amazing week. And then I also did a podcast interview, Shemeca, another early morning waking up because I'm working with a podcast interview that was out of the Philippines, y'all. The yes. Philippines. I mean, we. I mean, crisscrossing all over the globe, and it sounds like you've been real busy this week as well, Shemeca. Um, it's just amazing that we're really pushing this hard to make sure that the work that we're doing again it, with I Am Brilliant and just the, the, the careers we're having in regards to communicating a more positive message that really does get things done, right? I can't stress that part. So that brings me into today's episode topic, right? And so with this episode topic, it's really near and dear to my heart. I know it is to your heart. 
heart, Shemekha. But we want to bring this back to an old topic we did many years ago <laughs> when Sunday Stacks used to be on a college radio station uh, back when me and Shemekha first met. But we had a title that led us to the building of I Am Brilliant, I would say, in a lot of ways. But it was called We, we Own, Own it. it. Yes. So we're bringing that back today. This topic we're talking about today is about We Own It. And with that topic, I'm making an announcement here. Shemekha, are they ready for this announcement? Yes. This is a big announcement, y'all. Shemekha and I have been working very diligently for years trying to empower community. We didn't ask for much. We treated it like ministry. We treated it like a long walk. We made ourselves vulnerable. We told our story as honest and as truthful as we possibly can for you all out there that have supported us. Mm -hmm. And now officially, the words that we have spoken to invoke a new season of change called I Am Brilliant. Well, guess what? We own it. Yeah. Say it with me, Shemekha. We, we own, own it. it. So whenever you say I am brilliant, you better give homage to this team right here, the official I am brilliant organization, federally registered trademark. And we are so grateful. Um, you know, we worked really hard to make sure we did this the right way when we were building this brand, this movement. Um, we didn't want it to be something that was a fly by night right. kind of gimmicky type of thing. We really wanted to create authentic stripes with people in the community people's and campaign. the people's campaign it turned into the people's movement. And we've seen so many many phenomenon since then, you know, in our involvement in various different campaigns over the years, uh, whether it be political, whether it be, you know, advocating at different legislative places, like we've been on the ground in communities, listening to leaders, listening to people who weren't listened to, talking to people who were transient and trying to figure out where their next opportunities were going to come from. And we were really being intentional to create hope and opportunity for these people in these communities and in these states of being. And I really think we've achieved something amazing with I Am Brilliant. So Sunday Stacks is a byproduct of that. And as we say, we own it. Yes. Shemekha, does it stop there, Shemekha? Can, it can, does not can we stop drop some there. more announcements for them? What oh, else do what? we own, Shemekha? Oh my goodness. We have really took to heart the power and energy behind owning our name and understanding our identity and creating space and power, talk talk. taking up space. And so, as you know, I can show you better than I can tell you. And I always advocate for from theory to practice. So we not only are celebrating ownership of the trademark of I Am Brilliant, we are also celebrating the ownership of my name, She Mecca. She as Mecca. A, a registered trademark. Say it right. Leadership coaching. Spell it right yes she mecca she mecca yes. it is a calling it is a a calling out to other people that identify with themselves in a way that they own their space, they own their vulnerabilities, they talk own their talk. nakedness, um, but they're still leading and they're still growing and they're still in pursuit of that. And so I'm excited to lift this up, uh, not only for the trademark passing, but how this is going to open doors for uh, bringing together the things that people are looking for, that women are looking for. So keep your eyes and ears open out for the Shemekha Summit that is going to be coming for us as we bring everyone what? together that we've been connecting with through the years. It's time. It is time. I am standing up here on top of the mountain illuminating saying come home. Come on through here. So definitely you want to come through. Let's meet up at the Shemekha Summit. More details to follow. Let's go. So we have made official announcement that with this We Own It topic this week we not only are we continually telling you how it stacks up for us week for week, but what we're trying to do is be an example. Our focus again with I Am Brilliant and Sunday Stacks is an FCC model, which is family, community, and company. Yes. That means we have to be our utmost to start honoring what our family, what our mothers and fathers or parents in whatever structure you live in have done for us to be forth. And for us to exist, we have to step into a greater awareness that our family origins, if our families are great, phenomenal, keep the energy going. If your family has been bruised in the past, be the one to want to repair it mm -hmm. and heal it. But what we are is creating great new vibrations of what's possible. And when it comes to community, 
community, as Shemaka said it before, we could show you better than we could tell you. There's no organization that can engage the way we can engage to get so many different siloed organizations and leaders on the same page in regards to agreeing in their own brilliance. And with mm-hmm. that brilliance, we're all shining to create a constellation of stars and not yeah. just a few clusters. Keep and illuminating. Keep illuminating. And that's what this thing stands on. This is what we've been building in a company for I Am Brilliant to be a legacy that we can hold true and pass on to our children. So we thank everyone out there that has helped this to become true. We got some amazing pop-up opportunities that we're going to do to continue to tell the I Am Brilliant story, show the great leaders that have participated and where they've gone on to become even greater after their opportunity to be a part of SIGN. You know, I always joke and say, it ain't me and Shemekha that you see in I Am Brilliant, it's SIGN. Sign is a third character in this whole growth that yes. we've seen, which is the sign of intelligence, which is the sign of opportunity, is the sign of new hope and new beginnings yes. for you out there that are really trying to find a reason to give yourself an award, find a reason to give yourself a calling to new actions. And your brilliance is what that is. And I Am Brilliant is here to serve you. Sunday Stacks is here to tell you how it serves us week for week and how it's been stacking up. And it's to encourage you to take your vision, your idea to the next level of what you believe is excellent, which is taking something from nothing and growing it to even more. And that's what we've been out here roaring to do. And we're just grateful. I mean, we got so many things that we're continuing to grow. You know, anybody out there know me i do my music so we talk about what we own go out there and check out that single obvious by michael stewart isaacs go ahead and ask siri say hey siri play obvious by michael stewart isaacs and she'll do it she'll do it (laughs) y'all you know so for real like you know i gotta own that space right you know sometimes when you're a musician or you rap or i'm an mc for those who need to be clear i'm an mc (laughs) you know um you know sometimes you don't own those spaces because it gets ridiculed or it gets positioned with things that are kind of juvenile and not serious but the position that we're in now and what we're building with our organization and the passion we have for this mission driven work is resonant and the people we're networked with it's only going to get greater because we're inspiring them to continue to be a great example that's what i was saying whether it's here in america or across the continent we're in a position to continue to inspire, you know, and we're just owning these spaces. A lot of podcast interviews are coming. We got other podcasters trying to interview us now, y'all, just for out here, us out here storytelling. So we want you all to understand that we own it and you got to own that confidence in your life and take possession of what's yours and really grow it. Not to brag or show off to other people, but to really take that that responsibility that stewardship, that ownership requires. And that's what we're really trying to be an example of is good stewardship. And when you see the results we achieve and you see that we did it, what people would deem independently, know that we did it as professionals. Mm -hmm. Know that we took the right steps. We didn't take shortcuts. We made sure there was a confirmation between us and you all out there, the audience and our fans. So we appreciate you all. So I, I'm going to let you Mac, go and vibe with y'all. <laughs> you know, what I appreciate about standing in this space is um, I was joking with my nephew when I first started this process about you're going to because, you know, if you if you haven't seen the Shemekka Mobile, then you may need Shemekka to make sure <laughs> that we're coming through, through to community. a city near you. <laughs> Um, but uh, it has my name, um, which I just happened to be named after the registered trademark of Shemekka. <laughs> yes. um, but I was joking with him when I said, you're going to need to have permission to say my name now. So people can't so freely say my name. And definitely you can't be disrespectful. So I have taken, had this opportunity to own my space in a way that feels good and empowered. I've secured this legacy for my children's children. Children. Like people are going to be naming their children after Shemekka and it's a great destination. It's a great feeling. And I appreciate uh, birthing and uh, manifesting a an example of what's possible when you look at the contents of what your Shemekka journey is going to help you become when you step into being that destination, that that calling and convening of being activated in your community. I'm empowered to know that there are at least 10,000 more of you all out there that are owning their space and um, grateful to be a, a an example of what's possible. So 
shout out to you, Michael, for helping guide this part of it with your wisdom, your lived experience, your expertise, and your coaching um, to be fully committed to owning it and owning what's mine and what I stand for in a way that is not only empowering to others, but also income generating for me. I love it. Thank you so much. But with that, in this point of our show, it is time to make our transition to the Wiz of the Week. Yes, Wiz of the Week. Yes, always backed by popular demand, but we love the Wiz of the Week. And we always like to keep our main topic and spill it right over. And of course, we're talking about we own it. Yes, me, Shemekka, we own it. You own it. We all own it. Own yourself. Own your confidence. Own your name, as Shemekka has shown us. Own your, your, your own identity, as I Am Brilliant is trying to show you. Like, we want people to be their best version of self in this one life to live. And yes, again, shout out to the live podcast network right because we're focused on one life to live and we are alive y'all we are alive so with that being said the wizard of week won't hold back because there was a lot of liveliness going on this week y'all we had donald trump going up against the nabj that interview y'all we'll get back to that and then we of course got trump and harris debate set and then like she said it before say it to my face so we about to get it fully going y'all and as we getting close to to uh, VP Harris to getting ready to choose a running mate probably by the time we air or by the time the next episode comes we'll get into all of that but there's so much that was going on this week but we cannot overlook the dominance of the phenomenal Simone Biles oh my gosh shout out to Simone Biles for all of what she's been doing in the and Olympic and hard work as oh my Beyonce goodness. said in her video let's go I mean Shemekka as we were talking about you're owning your name name, Shemekka. And as we look at this Wiz of the Week, right, because there's so much that is said about VP Harris, whether her name is Kamala, whether her name is Kamala. You know, there's all these different tropes that are out there. Um, you know, you had Trump, you know, even being with this NABJ, uh, you know, organization, you know, playing with her name, thinking he can go into this organization, just kind of bully himself through it all. I mean, he was... Yeah, National Association of Black Journalists. The people that are going to be talking about you, whether you invite them to or not, you gave them something to talk about. I mean, so... <laughs> it's, I mean, we talking about... This thing was... I don't know if this was just set up for the drama it was going to bring because there was no way that wasn't going to go south. And now, as we say, all this is teeing up for a debate between Kamala and Donald and really taking it to a place where we're really going to see who really is ready to be the next president of the United States. It's almost like an American Idol type of competition at this point, right? You know, the way we look at some of these things that we we get caught up in. And I think, you know, we say with the Wizard of the Week, we always like to highlight all the different things that are going on. But then we also have to realize part of it, there are distractions, They're distracting us from other world issues that are going on as we've been global, you know, leaders going all around the world virtually this week. People have other things that they're concerned with globally. And then we can get boxed into the Olympics is a phenomenal feat of people's athleticism, but at the same time, distraction where there's wars happening and, you know, militarized attacks happening during the Olympics, as well as we have prisoner swaps happening during the same time when we have this grand distraction of the globe of the Olympics. But yet, just like the topic, we own it, right? We own our foolishness globally. We own our foolishness as nations. And we have to now figure out what else is it that we want better. And part of what the Wizard of the Week is, is to take the spell off of you, to take the illusion of these these headlines and really open your eyes as we talk about how things can stack for you week for week. We also want you not to be distracted to continue to stack for yourself, for your family, your community, your company, while all these other things are trying to fight for your thoughts. But again, what an amazing week. What an amazing series of headlines. And Simone Biles and all these other talented Olympians from all around the globe. I mean, we had the headline about the the boxer who I guess people at first thought she may not be fully a female boxer, but then come back that she is like the boxing headline. We had a yeah, whole that's the whiz right there. I, the whiz right Think there. About the emotional pull of people. We were already forming opinions, judging the whole Olympics. 
um, not having the opportunity to hear directly from the girl uh, outside of being in pain and this other woman or transgender woman, I, we don't know what we're still trying to figure is. out the full story. Um, but we just this is the part that can't pull on your heartstrings because it's part of the the pull from things that could maybe get more of your attention. Like this overshadows now those that are um, winning and doing well and competing strong in all these other areas. These stories like this pull out something in us that causes us to be combative and judgmental. Well, see, it was politicized. And, you know, this is the week that Joe Biden did an executive order in regards to a Title IX decision, whether or not transgendered uh can you know to put competing women's athletics and those things all that mm-hmm. happened this week as well so there were so many things that just kind of happened while the olympics are going on while all these presidential runs are going on it's like again if you're not aware you'll be so quickly distracted and again that's why we're here we're not news anchors we we don't claim to be journalists we're just a, a team of entrepreneurs who have a global perspective that want to share at least our lens and how we see things week for week stacking up for our family. And we don't want you to be misled that you, too, can't stay on that focus because these headlines sometimes can have us emotionally going on a roller coaster of sorts. So, um, you know, with all of that being said, we are grateful for all of the the again the athletic talents and the displays i mean even simone biles was talking about uh when she won all her medals she's like uh i love my black job but that was one of the things that she had tweeted uh based on a, uh, another tweet that someone said about you know this being a black job being an olympic gold medalist as the goat and simone biles is a phenomenal young athlete so poised um such a leader to the next generation um so these stories do need to be highlighted we can't take away that inspiration we need inspiration in time of despair right now as a globe um but at the same time we still have to have that greater awareness and uh, thus again what we try to do with why it's important we own what i am brilliant is all about and what sunday stacks is here to do is to give you a, a new perspective thought leadership we're a think tank type of organization but we're doing it a little bit differently in our approach i mean well you're gonna find out that it gets results so definitely uh, make sure you check out all of our major platforms we're also on youtube so like and subscribe leave a comment let us know your thoughts on this episode any other places we could have went with some of the topics definitely any thoughts that you have in regards to what you have going on some new ownerships that you're building for yourself for your family we want to hear it let's go so as always we want to take some time you have any um wrap-ups you want to do real quick absolutely if you have not done so already if you just happen to be listening to us on our youtube make sure you download the alive podcast network app so that you can get us on the app the every Every opportunity to connect with us matters and uh, a live podcast network has given a subscription model that you can support. You can do a monthly membership or do a VIP membership, um, but a portion of those proceeds come to us uh, directly to Sunday Stacks. You can assign that. So assign your seed, assign your subscription and definitely check it out. So download the app on your phones. You know you have it. You know you can. This is how you can show us the support that we're looking for and how we continue to grow our partnerships moving forward. Thank you so much. And we thank you all out there for your participation and for definitely make sure this call to action is heard. We definitely need your support. Check us out on all major platforms. Again, like and subscribe. Make sure you follow Shemeca Ebony on Instagram. ShemecaEbony.com will give you all those insights. You can follow Michael Stewart Isaacs. Uh, you know, I'm also able to be found through a lot of what we do through I Am Brilliant. You are too on Instagram. So make sure you follow all our platforms. We need the support to continue to let you know you love the work we're out here doing with I Am Brilliant. And as we always say to the audience, I am brilliant, brilliant, and you you are are too. too. Thank you again for tuning into this edition of Sunday Stacks, and we'll see you next week. Peace.